Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTO T90, Determining the Plastic Limit and Plasticity Index of Soils. This video demonstrates the plastic limit test. Prepare the soil using a number 40 sieve. Obtain at least 20 grams of soil passing the number 40 sieve for this test. Place the soil sample into a mixing dish. Add water until the soil can be shaped into a ball. Mix the water into the soil using a spatula. Take a portion of soil from the dish and form a ball of about 10 grams for the test sample. If the soil is slow to absorb moisture, allow it to season. Zero the scale and place the 10 on the scale platform. Record the 10 number and tear weight. Take a small portion of soil from the ball and form an ellipsoidal mass, which is a cigar shape, of 1.5 to 2 grams. Roll the specimen to a 3 mm diameter on a ground glass plate or smooth unglazed paper. Keep the soil under your hand and apply a small amount of downward pressure to the soil as you roll it. Roll at a rate of 80 to 90 strokes per minute. Continue rolling until the soil reaches a diameter of 3 mm or an eighth of an inch within 2 minutes of rolling. If the soil breaks apart before reaching 3 mm in diameter, add a small amount of water to the entire soil mass, knead it into the soil, and try again. Once the soil reaches 3 mm, reform the ellipsoid and repeat the rolling process. Continue rolling until the soil breaks apart before reaching a 3 mm diameter. When the soil breaks apart at or before reaching a 3 mm diameter, the soil is considered to be at its plastic limit. If the soil can be rolled to a diameter smaller than 3 mm, then it is not at its plastic limit. When the soil is at its plastic limit, pick up the pieces of the crumbled soil, place them into the moisture tin, and immediately cover the tin with the lid to prevent additional drying of the sample. Select another portion from the remaining mass of soil, roll it to its plastic limit, add the pieces to the tin, and cover. Repeat this step until you have rolled the entire test specimen to its plastic limit. A minimum of 10 grams is needed for an accurate moisture content determination. When rolling is complete, zero the scale and place the tin on the scale platform. Record the tear plus wet weight. Remove the lid and place it underneath the tin. Place the tin in the oven and dry to constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the tin from the oven and immediately cover it with the lid. Cool to room temperature. Zero the scale and place the tin on the scale platform. Record the tear plus dry weight. Determine the moisture content according to ASHTO T265 to the nearest 0.1%. The plastic limit is the moisture content rounded to the nearest whole number. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.